Tonight on The Profit. Standard Burger, come on down. I'm back to check on the progress at Standard Burger. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Good to you too. So far, I've invested over $400,000 in this quick service restaurant to make it a model for a national franchise. But what I've put in place has gone off the rails. Bad burgers, bad fries, bad customer service. For the last 90 days, it's been and the partners are too busy fighting to fix it. I'm the guy that's here every Wait, day, and you're the guy that shows up problem? once a month. That's what it is. That's the problem. We have a big opportunity to grow this business. We have a franchisee scheduled to come here, and it looks like chaos to me. But if these guys can't grow up... I laid out all the kitchen equipment, designed the entire space. I know. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be a creek without a paddle. I may have to cut my losses. I've had enough. I always enjoy revisiting businesses, but coming back to an award winner, even better. But I'm not just here to hang out. We're about to have our first meeting with a potential franchisee, and I want to make sure we're ready. Hey, guys. How are you? How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Good brother, you too. Guys, what are all these little chalkboards for? Uh, as a customer, I'm not happy about that. OK, can I order, please? Sure. Well, let me stand a burger. I'll have a, a standard burger, please. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save a dollar. I'm just going to get a, a hamburger. Hamburger. OK. And so what's the size of the patty on that? The same. Three and a half uh -huh. ounces. The bun is the same. It's a four-inch bun. OK. Why do I have to pay a dollar more for this Because the hamburger one? itself has no toppings. It's just meat and bread. The standard burger has lettuce. It has no tomato, tomato on it? So can nothing. I have a hamburger with lettuce? We'd offer you the standard burger then, sir. So I have to pay a dollar for a tomato? It's not just tomato. It's lettuce and tomato. and. I think there's some onions on there also, pickle. But I think we'll actually lose money like this. We lose money like this. So, so your suggestion is leave those fine. burgers or don't leave those burgers? Or wipe them out. I know you're going to Wipe them out. I so the highest selling out. burger in the restaurant, you want to wipe off, them, off well, the menu? It's the highest selling because it's the cheapest. We're inventing items on the menu just to make some We didn't invent happy. any items on the menu. And they've been incorporated now for three months. And this is the first I'm hearing that nobody likes them. These are the areas where, like, sometimes I feel offended and I don't come to the restaurant because, like, I walk in and You I don't got... come to the restaurant because you don't feel like it, Sam. Let's not make believe. So I did all this. You did all this. this. Well, you... I tried. I, I put an effort in to do all this. You put effort in. So when you left for your honeymoon without telling anybody what was going on in the middle of all this construction, who finished it? You did. did. You, you helped me. Doing? You helped me. Did you me tell me where you were? Yeah. Did you I tell said, me what stage you were at? Did you I tell said, me what vendor was coming? Child, did the place get built? It did because I slept on the bench. That's why it got built. Listen, I've had enough. We have a franchisee scheduled to come here. He's expecting to see consistency, and there's chalkboards up here. You've changed the price of things. It looks like chaos to me. Sammy grabbed me and told me that he wanted to talk to me. The restaurant isn't being ran correctly. For the last 90 days, it's been Bad burgers, bad fries, bad customer service, bad relations. You remember you said to me, let them, if they could do it, then... Let they... Joe run the business, right? Right. I stepped back, I walked away. This, Sammy's not going around no more. It stems from that. It's not genuine. He's not being honest? No, he's bull He's bull about stuff. How are you, John? Good, how are you? Good to see you, I'm Marcus. Likewise. My wife's family has been in the restaurant catering business for almost 50 years. I have a background in design and construction. Have well, clearly, your yeah. background is we qualified. Have. Why don't we take a look at the menu board? You've got five burgers. Are there other things than just burgers? Like, I know it's standard yeah. burger, but so, I think if, if you add a kid's menu, I think that would be helpful, because I have got three children. If we're going to bring the kids for lunch or dinner, you kind of want to see it on the menu. How about your uh, food costs? Right now, we're at 34%. It, it, that's very high. And where would you like to be? I think in the 30 range, 28 to 30. So we have some work to do. Little work to do. Okay. Sure. Maybe we can schedule to meet in a couple weeks. Okay. We'll see you soon. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Our first priority now is getting those food costs down. And before we dig into ways to do that, I want to find out what Joe was thinking with this six dollar burger of his. That is a standard burger that's six bucks. How much is this? Seven dollars. What's the difference? Lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup, pickles. So this. And how much does that cost? Eight cents for the raw onion. I have a hard time believing that a couple pieces of onion cost eight cents. There's a penny. Yeah, we're not paying a penny for red onions. Something's off. It's math. OK, what else? You got 15 cents for tomato. 10.7 cents. You guys got to get your food costs a little more detail. I think it would help. That's why our numbers are down. Because we're kind of shooting from the hip on the pricing, and then nobody shot from the hip. Oh. I got direct from Marcus. I didn't tell you to put a $6 chalkboard burger out there. 
when I run the report, and the hamburger and the cheeseburger are the two highest selling items in the restaurant. They're the two highest selling because they're the lowest priced. Because. But if you don't have the option, people just order this. You know, when it comes to Sammy, you, you have a difficult time letting him talk. I know you don't realize it, but. No, I realize it. You keep cutting him off. I'm trying to cut him off. He feels like you're bullshitting me. That's I'm bullshitting you. That's what he feels like. On what front? I don't know. So I was having a, a conversation with Joe, and I told him that you felt like he was bullshitting me a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Where? I think the restaurant still needs a lot of help. I'm the guy that's here every what, day. What's your problem? I know the guy that shows up problem? once a month. That's what it is. That's the problem. So if you want to start calling my name and bull I'm, together, be ready to I'm be not, a man I'm and not, stand I'm next to me and say so. All I Tell said, me, Marcus, that I'm bull Why not pick help? up the phone and say, hey, Joe? Because I've done that, and this is help. the reaction I get from you. You're an ass. That's not an ass. I'm not an ass. We have girls that I just found out that have been working for us for years that just got fired just like that. That's bull. Who's the girl that you fired? Nikki. Who is that right there? That's Nikki's dad. Holy This is going to be a problem. How you doing, John? I'm good. Is your daughter Nikki? Yeah. That's a phone call. She's a worker. No one likes her. Well, that's what my partner was just confronting him about. Yeah. Is he dating your daughter? I guess he was until he started dating someone else. So, hey, I'm somebody. really not comfortable not being part of the conversation. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. really not comfortable with you seeing my daughter number one, and then firing her to say, tell what the sh work she is. First of all, your daughter no. was under evaluation. Don't come up with corporate crap to me. Her and I didn't get along together. No, you were no. We didn't get you along, so that's not... I can't have her work here anymore. That's just that. You're a when did you terminate her? Today. In person? Over the telephone. You fired her over the telephone after three I years. I had to be here for this thing. Uh, you know what? Kind of a joke. Oh, you could have waited. Honestly, I'm going to be straight with you. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't beat the out of him. This is crazy. All I know is we have a problem. Is this Nikki? Yeah. Yes? If you were near, I might move. Hey, come on over here. Come on over here. He told me that I'm not a good worker. Which is the first time you ever heard that. And, I mean, you can ask all the employees. Did you guys ever date? It was on and off. But you did a little? Yeah. OK. While you were working here? Yeah. And he had a girlfriend. Ay, ay, ay. I take business very seriously, and I know that people make mistakes. But when you're put in a position of leadership, you have to know the difference between right and wrong. And when you make a decision that puts the business in jeopardy, you have to understand that those decisions have consequences. When I came back and I witnessed what was going on between you and Sammy, it, it was bad. It was terrible. Yeah. It was bad. You lose your over nothing. I think that if we asked the staff, they would have nothing but, and I'm not just patting myself on the back, but great things to say about my decision making. The things that happened were really bad. <sighs> but especially since you were the boss. This discussion is about you making a decision that put the business in jeopardy, I don't put your partners in jeopardy, to put me in jeopardy. Why did you fire her? So she was being evaluated over time, and so was everyone else. I mean, you've never had to let anybody go before. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. I do, and it's the worst thing in the world. I know. You're about to do it right now, aren't you? I am. You? I'm about to tell you that you can't be in that role. If you're going to crucify me for... Joe, please I mean, don't be a martyr. Because I've done nothing but give you my heart, soul, and blood since the day I got here. I agree with that. And if that's not enough for you... I would look any of them in the face since I put the most money in, and I would tell them that you more than earned Thanks. your equity. Yeah. All right? Are we good? Yes, we are. I'm sorry it had to, to go this way. I'll see you soon. Yeah. There's no gray area here for me. It's black and white. If you mistreat other employees, you cannot work here. Today, we have our critical meeting with John and his business partner, Evelyn. We need to show them that we've listened to their feedback and we're ready to expand. We would really dug into the food costs since, since we last talked. Um, we're down around 30%. That allows margins to really expand. And something new that we added to the menu is the standard dog. And it literally is the biggest beef hot dog you've ever seen before. Wow. And if we partner this up with one of our direct beers, it, it looks great, we can advertise it, and it has a great attachment rate to it. You feel comfortable moving forward? You I bet. Do. Yeah. I do. We have a deal? I, if my brother-in-law says we have a deal, we're good. I'm we have good. a deal. I'm good. Great. Yeah. I'm good. I good. like this. I really like this a lot. I'm glad. Thank you. Excited. It's a Thank you so much. I'm excited. There's one more issue we still need to discuss. There he is. Hey. How you doing, my man? How you doing? 
Doing all right? That's a good word. Good word. Hey, Joe. I want to make sure that you know from me and from everybody that a lot of the good processes are a big credit to you. Thank you. Thank and you. it's a testament to the Burger Boys. Yeah, I, I feel kumbaya in the background right now. Everything <laughs> feels kind of good. You know, Joe put his heart and his soul in here. You know, he's part of our team. He's, he's a brother to all of us, and he belongs here. Great. So we're back, back in the game. We're back Hello, together. In. <laughs> I think in business, sometimes there are tough decisions to make. But you have to make sure that the business is bigger than anyone. And in this case, Standard Burger is on its way to great success.